हेलो एंड वेलकम टू थ्री डॉट टी वी आई मे होस्ट शुभम जोशी एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द कॉइन मॉनिटर वर्चुअल डिजिटल एसेट्स वर ट्रेडिंग लोअर इन द पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एज मार्केट्स डिसाइडेड टू टेक अ ब्रीद आफ्टर कलेक्टिंग बेस्ट वीकली गेन्स लेड बाय फंड इन फ्लो इन द रिसेंटली लॉन्च स्पॉट बिटकॉइन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड फंड्स बिटकॉइन रोज पास्ट फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड डॉलर्स क्रूशल लेवल्स बिफोर रिटेटिंग लोअर आई सी फिफ्टीन इंडेक्स ऑफ क्रिप्टो करेंसीज वर ट्रेडिंग डाउन बाय वन परसेंट एट सिक्सटी The recent buying frenzy in cryptocurrencies resulted in the total market capitalization approaching the crucial 2 trillion dollar mark. The partial pullback observed today can be attributed to traders turning cautious ahead of the busy calendar schedule. Will the markets will focus on key economic events including the US CPI data which will help assess Federal Reserve stance on the interest rate. For the analysts expect the US CPI data to come around 2.94% for the month of January versus previous month's reading of 3.4%. Earlier in the day Bitcoin price crossed the key hurdle above $48,600 as the US based spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds continued to receive huge net inflows. Interestingly the losses incurred post ETF approval are almost wiped off with Bitcoin now reaching the same levels observed during the ETF approval week. Then the downturn period was driven by institutional selling to capitalize on the ETF induced demand surge. Meanwhile, the Bitcoin ETFs have reached a 10 billion dollar milestone in assets under management with net inflows reaching 2.7 billion dollars on January 9th. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust currently holds Bitcoin worth 4 billion dollars while Fidelity's Vice Origin Bitcoin Fund has over 3.4 billion dollars in Bitcoin under management. Another note worthy update is the number of Bitcoin addresses in the profit has now crossed over 90%. Well according to data from into the block 91% of bitcoin addresses are currently profitable this means the vast majority of holders and investors have an incentive to continue holding particularly as the next halving for bitcoin miners approaches furthermore on chain data shows that bitcoin mining difficulty has jumped sharply in the past few years and is now sitting at its highest level on record talking about the overall crypto markets the global cryptocurrency market capitalization was at 1.7 trillion dollar mark decreasing 1.3% in the last 24 hours however the total trading volumes increased by 2% to 46 billion dollars talking about the second largest cryptocurrency ethereum has managed to push the strong resistance level of 2500 dollars the date for the denken upgrade the much awaited proto dunk sharding was announced march 13 is date when the blockchain will move to the cost effective layer 2 network In another interesting report from Messari a significant increase of around 490% is witnessed in creation of non fungible tokens on the XRP ledger in the last quarter of 2023 This surge in activity underscores the growing prominence of NFTs within the XRP L ecosystem Interestingly Chainlink has seen a surge in the value as a mysterious wallet continues to accumulate 83.6 million worth of linked tokens over the past 5 days The Whale has used 55 new wallets on Binance to accumulate 4.56 million link tokens. However, Chainlink has now surpassed Dogecoin to become the 10th largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. Talking about US stock futures, they traded mixed as investors kept an eye on key economic data scheduled later in the week. Futures tied to the S&P 500 traded flat, while Dow Jones Industrial Average futures was 0.08 percent lower, with Nasdaq 100 futures traded at 0.07 percent higher. Bitcoin was trading at $47,950, down 0.4 percent. Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency, was down by 2 percent, trading at $2,483. Talking about other coins, BNB was down by 2 percent to trade at $316. Solana Sol was down 4.5% and was trading at $105. Cardano ZDA token was down by 3.7% to trade at $0.53. Next on the list Avalanche Wax was trading at $39 lower 4.2%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 3.6% to trade at $0.82. Next on the list Doge the popular meme coin was trading down by 3.4% at $0.079. Well Shiba Inu was trading down by 2.3%. Next, Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.51 down by 3%, and lastly, Polkadot was trading down by 3.3% to trade at $7. Well, that's all in today's Coin Monitor. This is me Shubham Joshi signing off. For more such interesting updates, keep watching 3.0TV or log on to our website www.3.tv.io or scan the QR code. Thank you. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs.
come explore and evolve with 3 Dotto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Dotto TV delivers the news that matters. Bitcoin ETFs have reached a $10 billion milestone in assets under management, with net inflows reaching $2.7 billion on January 9th. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust currently holds Bitcoin worth around $4 billion, while Fidelity's Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund has over $3.4 billion in Bitcoin under management. The ARK21 shares Bitcoin ETF has also reached the billion dollar milestone, holding about $1 billion in its portfolio. Grayscale Bitcoin Trust outflows reached $6.3 billion over the past 30 days, with its smallest daily volume of capital withdrawal since conversion. Bitcoin ETF flows are expected to increase in the coming months. Spot Bitcoin ETFs are nearing their first month of operation, with the market potentially consolidating by the end of 2024, according to Valkyrie Fund's Chief Investment Officer, Stephen McClure. McClure anticipates a reduction in the number of issuers from 10 to about 7 or 8, uh, attributed to the financial burdens associated with running a spot Bitcoin ETF and a competitive fee-lowering trend that threatens the profitability of struggling issuers. The critical uh, asset under management threshold of $100 million is a determinant uh, for an uh, ETF's viability. Since the US uh, Securities and Exchange Commission approved the first Bitcoin spot ETFs on January 10th, the market response has been robust, with $4.5 billion traded on the first day alone. Recent data also shows that continued strong inflows with $400 million reported in a single day. Valkyrie alongside heavyweight competitors like BlackRock and Fidelity is navigating a crowded market with BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin ETF at Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund exceeding $3 billion in assets and the management within a month. McClurg remains optimistic about Valkyrie's performance, particularly against similar tier competitors attributing success to the firm's digital asset expertise and traditional market experience. MicroStrategy, a business intelligence firm founded by Bitcoin bull Michael Saylor, has increased its Bitcoin holdings to over $9 billion, bringing its unrealized profits to over $3 billion. The firm which started investing in Bitcoin in 2020 made its first purchase of $250 million worth of Bitcoin in August 2020. Since then, uh, it has steadily increased its holdings, now holding approximately 190,000 Bitcoins or almost 1% of the total circulating supply. The company's investment in Bitcoin has been driven by an ongoing crypto market bull run led by Bitcoin with the firm now holding 190,000 Bitcoins at a total cost of $5.93 billion or $31,224 per Bitcoin. MicroStrategy is committed in Bitcoin in the long run and is not planning to sell its holdings anytime soon. The company's buying trend indicates more of Bitcoin acquisitions in the future. The company's investments in Bitcoin has also paid off so far and uh, it is set to benefit even more in the coming months due to the Bitcoin halving and widespread spot Bitcoin ETFs. If Bitcoin a bull continues, MicroStrategy's unrealized profits could reach tens of billions of dollars.